Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. Today's session is involving two bits of kit. One kettlebell, one pair of dumbbells, and we're gonna be working for 30 minutes. All the way through, 30 seconds on each exercise, 30 seconds rest, and we're doing 10 different moves, three complete rounds. So all the way through for 30 minutes. Let's kick things off with a little warm up, just to get ourselves limbered up. Starting out with the hands out by the side, we're gonna to touch our toes, left to right. So just a little 90 second warm up. And then we're going to go into our first exercise, which is going to be kettlebell swings. So make sure you've got yourself a weight that's suitable. Rotate through the spine. And we'll kick things off with 30 seconds of strong kettlebell swings, focusing on the hamstrings and glutes. Good. Next thing we're going to do, nice big circles with the arms. So arms up and round. Big circles, and then we rotate in the opposite direction. So I'm using a 16 kilogram kettlebell and I've got a pair of dumbbells which are actually in pounds, 20 pounds. Right, next thing we're gonna do, hands on the ground, in this position, foot out to the side, rotate and open up the chest. Foot out to the side, rotate and open up the chest. Good, last few on this one. Open up the chest. And relax. Right, so limb it up, first exercise, picking up your kettlebell, we're going to do 30 seconds of strong swings, thinking about your hamstrings and your glutes as you do this. So don't bend the knees too much when you swing, it's just a slight bend in the knees, and drive through the hips. Here we go, 30 seconds, come on in. So think about driving those hips forward, thrusting forward, and that weight is going to come up with the momentum of the swing. So I just sort of bring it up to eye level, and drive through the hips. So just a little bend in the knee, straight back, fire up those glutes. That's it. Come on, squeeze. And relax. Well done, so wait down for 30 seconds, recover. We're now gonna go in with a goblet squat, holding the kettlebell close to the chest. We're gonna sit down low, and stand up tall. So 30 seconds on that one. It's 10 different moves. And we're gonna go round for three different rounds. Three, ugh, I'm out of breath. Three rounds in total. Okay, so picking up the dirt over the kettlebell, close to the chest, goblet squat for 30 seconds. Down and up, good. Take your time. Nice controlled reps. Strong squats, back nice and straight, <sighs> drive through the heels, don't let those knees cave in, drive your knees out, <sighs> last one, <sighs> and relax, well done, right, kettle down on the ground, we're now going with our dumbbells, or a renegade row, which is essentially a high plank like this. If you can't do these, just hold this plank. If you can, you row the, dumb the dumbbells up toward your hips. So you're going to really, really feel this in your abs, but also the muscles in your upper back. Here we go. One, two, good, slow reps. Squeeze those abs. Control it. Keep your core engaged. Don't let your hips rock. Five seconds on the clock. And relax. Well done. Right. Next exercise. Another great one for the hamstrings and glutes. So using the dumbbells, what we're going to do is we don't let the weights come to the ground completely because we don't want to arch our backs like this, but we're going to. Do Romanian lifts, so they don't go straight to the ground. You just feel the stretch, nice straight back, and from there, you pull up. So stretch those hamstrings, slap bend in the knee, and we, and we pull with those hamstrings and glutes. Off we go. So nice straight back. Stretch the hamstrings, and with those muscles now, you pull the weights up. Good. 
a nice straight back. So you can go as low as you can and pull. Good, slow reps. One thing you don't want to do is get into that position where you're arching your back, so really keep a nice neutral spine. Okay, next exercise. We're now using the kettlebell. So what we're gonna do, left arm, we're gonna get the weight up to our shoulder. So it's a one up to there, and then reverse lunge. So from the ground, we come up, and then you throw that right leg back. Off we go, so left shoulder, all right, there goes back. And again, repeat. Take your time from the ground. Snatch it up. Reverse lunge. And repeat. Brilliant. Rack it up there, shoulder. So nice high front rack. Down. Up. And lunge. One more rep. And. Rest, perfect, right, weight down. Same again on the right hand. We clean the kettle up to the shoulder and then we reverse lunge on that right leg. So all down the right side now. All right, quick little drink. We're going again in 10 seconds time. So it's nice to have that rest in between. So right arm, right arm now, so up. And then you throw that left leg back. So it's a reverse lunge on the right leg. And reverse lunge, good. Take your time with these ones. So come up. Nice big strong reverse lunge. Stand together. And again. Right, Woo. kettlebell down. Next exercise is a press up deadlift. So we're gonna be using the dumbbells now. What we're gonna do, start in a high plank position. We do a press up and we jump forward so feet in between the dumbbells and then we stand up and repeat. Let's go. So, kick out, push up, jump the feet forward, look up, and drive. And again. Jump forward, and drive. Strong push up. Get feet, if you can, in line with the hands. From there, we drive up into a nice standing position. One more. Rest, good effort, All right. Shake your legs off. Next one I'm gonna do, number eight, is a squat curl press. So three moves in one. Let's pick up the dumbbells. We squat down, we curl, and then we press. So squat, curl, press. A lot of muscles getting used there. Let's go, so. Squat, hammer curl, shoulder press, and repeat. Squat, curl, press. So three separate movements combined into one. Squat, curl, press. Keep going. Come on. Three rounds of this today, all the way through, no rest. Come on, strong. One more, and relax. Okay, next one I'm going to do, either holding the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whatever's, maybe the lighter one for you. We're going to do Romanian twists. So holding the dumbbell like this, feet sort of heels on the floor, knees bent. We're going to twist left to right. So you're sort of going to use the abs and your, your rotation to engage your core through that twist called a Russian twist. Right, let's go. So we're going to go left. So you can follow the dumbbell or kettle with your eyes. That's it, come on. Oof. 
big in this one. Left to right. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh. All right. No dumbbells for this one. Bodyweight exercise. We've got chest to floor burpees. So all the way down, hands hit the ground, chest hit the floor, push up, hands above the head, that's one rep. So 30 seconds, and that's round one complete. You're doing really well, keep up the intensity. If you need to adjust the weights, you can. Here we go. Hands to the ground, chest to the floor, push up, hands above the head. And just go, as long as you can. In 30 seconds. Hands to the floor, chest to the floor, push and jump. Come on. All right, 10 seconds. Okay, we've got time for one more. Last one. Come on, everyone down. Down. Up. And relax. Good work. Right, a little drink. That's 10 minutes complete. We're going back through for our second round. If you need to adjust your weights, now's the time. We're going back in with kettlebells in 10 seconds. So kettlebell swings. Remember, this isn't a front loaded exercise, this is a hamstrings and glutes move. Let's go. Swing. So drive your hips forward, and that pushes the kettlebell. Up, so you're not really using your arms. Arms are just hanging. Drive. So just a gentle bend in the knee, and then up, straighten that leg by thrusting your hip forward. So you can really feel that in there in your glutes if you like. You know, clench, squeeze, push forward. Ah. Okay, next up, number two, goblet squat. So holding that kettlebell nice and close to the chest. Nice, slow goblet squats. Here we go, come on in, straight in. 30 seconds. Let's go. Control is important with these. More time under tension, don't rush them. Strong, stable legs, and drive up. That's it, come on. Last one. Oh, that's a good little workout. I'm glad I'm doing 30 seconds on. 30 off, I thought about doing 40, 20, but it would have killed us. Okay, next exercise is the Renegade Rose. So with the dumbbells. Remember, if you can't do these because they're too tough, just hold this like that. Just hold a high plank. If you can, you row the weight towards the hip. Let's go. Without like, really sort of rotating your hips either. This is really focused on the core. So squeeze those abs. Lock it all in. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze your abs, keep it all tight. We don't want to be up here. Stay there in that nice high plank position. Put it towards your hip. Squeeze and lower. Good set, well done. All right, next one again. With those dumbbells, working on our hamstrings and glutes. It's those Romanian lifts. So, and we don't want to be arching our back like this. We haven't got to get to the ground. It's really just about sort of going as far as you can. Gentle bend in the knee. When you feel the stretch, then you pull back. Let's go, so stretch and stand up. Stretch. Just go until you feel that stretch. So your legs aren't locked out of this. Gentle bend. So soft bend in the knees, 
and we'll use the hamstrings and glutes to pull those weights back up. Good, last few seconds. Hold, stretch, and pull up. So you will feel that a little bit in your lower back, but the aim is to really think about loading the hamstrings and stretching them and shortening them to pull it back up. All right, next one. We've got one kettlebell. We're gonna clean that with our left hand, up to our shoulder, and then we do a reverse lunge on that left leg. 30 seconds on the left, 30 on the right, I'm sweating. Okay, so from there, we go up, and then we reverse lunge onto that left leg. Good. From the ground, up, and lunge. Ground, up, lunge. 10 seconds. Make sure you get that front rack where it's nice and high up. Rest in. And wow. Brilliant. Oh, that's good tempo. It's not too fast. It's about a nice sort of routine, get into a rhythm with your breathing and just flow through it and control it every time with a good form. Uh, oh, last round's gonna be tough. Right arm now, so from the ground, up, reverse lunge on that right leg. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, repeat, come on. Ah, one more. Right, weights out of the way. We're now using the no kettlebell now for the weights. Dumbbells for the press up deadlift. So, remember, dumbbells like this. A nice deep push up. So get chest to the floor if you can, or up, you know, chest to dumbbells. Jump through, and then stand up. Let's go. Right, so push, jump, stand, down, push. Up and drive. That's it, take your time. Think about doing a strong push up. So, one push up, jump the feet up, don't arch that back, nice straight back, drive and down. Well done. Okay, number eight, squat, curl, press. So using the dumbbells again, we squat down, hammer curl, shoulder press. Whoa. Struggling now, struggling. Okay. So, picking up the weights. So nice deep squat, stand up, hammer curl, Shoulder press and return. Squat, curl, press. Brilliant. Press. One more rep. Last one. Squat, curl, press and rest. Oh. Okay. Next exercise is the twist. So, uh, we have one dumbbell or kettlebell, knees slightly bent, feet on the floor, and then we're going to twist left to right. Let's go. Good that twist. Feel your abs having to work. Ten seconds. 
Ten seconds. circuit is the burpees then we've got one round one round to go okay we're going again at eight seconds okay let's go hands to floor chest to floor push up good go on go at your own pace you can go faster you can go slower just keep going. And up. Chest to the floor. Hands above the head. Come on, one more rep. Last one. Hands. Chest. Push up. Yes, good work. Oh. Oh, it's finished me right. 20 minutes complete. This is where it gets tough. This is where we don't give up. This is where we keep going. Last 10 minutes. Okay, deep breaths. We're going in with the kettlebell swings, remember? So it's the last set. Nice, strong kettlebell swing. Let's go, get that momentum. Drive through those hips. Squeeze. So I'm not bending my knees, I'm not really sort of squatting into all of this. I'm just gently bending my knees. I'm using my hamstrings and glutes to thrust that kettlebell up. Come on, think about the muscles you're working. Squeeze your glutes. Come on, last few swings. Oh, wow. When you really think about those muscles and you sort of imagine you're clenching at the top, it really, it does activate them a lot. It's a great, great exercise for your bottom. Oh, oh they, get, they, get out, they get you out of breath then once. Okay, next one's goblet squats. Okay, holding the weight close to the chest. We go down, stand up tall. It's a great workout. Full body, loads of muscles being used here. In and out, 30 minutes. And if you think about it, Half of it's rest, so we're really only working out for 15 minutes. And we're resting for 15 minutes, so bear that in mind. Short effort, or short, sorry, short amount of time, but a really good, intense effort. That's why it's effective. Oh, we're getting straight in, in and out. Oh. Okay, next one is the Renegade Rose. So, I'm not sure who invented these or called them Renier Rose, that's, that's what they're often known as. So in the plank and you row up. Okay, let's go. Last set. Row. Bring it to the hip. Make your abs work. Don't rock. Squeeze those abs, come on. Last few seconds. Ah, good work. Brilliant effort. Okay, next exercise is the Romanians. Again, one dumbbell in each hand. So again, this is a posterior exercise, yeah? So this is for our glutes and hamstrings. Again, I'm not squatting like this really low. I'm just sort of looking ahead, stretching my hamstrings and pulling back. So I'm only gently bending the knees, straight back and pull. Feel the stretch and pull back. 
It's not about getting them to the ground. You don't have to be that flexible because even me, I have to watch the back. It's just really a case of getting to that point where that maximum stretch without your back arching and pull. Right, dumbbells on the ground. Doing so well. Next exercise with the kettlebell. We've got that left arm. We clean it up from there to there and then reverse lunge on the left leg. So right there goes back. 30 seconds on each side. Sweating, sweating. Here we go. On the ground. So up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's repeat that. Keep that tempo. Come on, up, last few seconds, one more, ah, savage exercise, exactly the same now, I'm in the right hand, Kettlebell out of the way. We're now in with those press up deadlifts. Let's make this tougher this time. Let's do three, pre three press ups every time we go down. So three press ups, one deadlift. Three press ups, one deadlift for 30 seconds. Okay. So one, two, Three, jump forward and stand up. One, two, three, and stand. One, two, three, and stand up. Last one, come on. And relax, good work. Really good effort. Okay, number eight. Squat curl press. Oh, my heart rate, 160. Oh, right, here we go. So we squat, hammer curl, Press above the head. Squat, curl, press, good. Oh, nice low squat, get down low. Drive up, strict hammer curl, strict shoulder press. Come on, last five seconds, one more rep. Two more moves. Last two exercises. We've got the Russian dumbbell twist and the burpees to finish. Oh, it's been a good workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more kettlebells and dumbbell work. I'd like to know what type of stuff you like and I can start planning some more sessions. All right, let's go left to right. Get that twist. Oh, 
that's hard. Right, here we go. Last exercise. The finisher. Burn these. Look at the sweat patches there. So this is it. Final move. As many burpees as you can in 30 seconds. Let's go chest the floor. Really work hard now. Last little push. Okay. Down. Last 10 seconds. Down. Up. Down. Up. Okay. Last one. Together. Come on. Together. Down. Up. Yes. What a workout. 30 minutes, 10 moves, using the kettlebells, the dumbbells, our body weight. Fantastic effort. Well done for completing that session. Hope you loved it. And thanks again for always coming back and giving my workouts a go. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you again for another workout. See you soon.